Today's video is all about Accents Luxio Gel Polish. Hey guys, Liz from The Nail Hub here, and today I wanted to show you one of the products that actually got me started when I was a brand new nail technician and back when I was a salon owner. Um, this brand I have been an educator for, I have used for seven years now, maybe going on eight. Um, and I really like this company. This is Accents. So it looks like this right here, A-K-Z-E-N-T-Z. -Z, and that's pronounced Accents. Um, and they're from Vancouver, Canada. They make all of their own products as well. And we distribute their products on the Nail Hub very proudly. Um, their line of bottled gel is called Luxio. So you'll probably see this from a whole bunch of different artists worldwide. It's a very, very popular product. And I wanted to just kind of go over what Luxio is, how it is similar to other gel polishes on the market, but also how it differs. And I'm also going to show you guys how to do a basic manicure with Luxio. Okay, so the typical Luxio lineup includes three products, and I'll get into some of the variations on the products in just a second. But the typical ones you're going to see are the Luxio base, a Luxio color, and the names on the colors are English on the front, and then because it's a Canadian company, they're French on the back. So if you see that, you'll uh, be able to see what the difference is. And then also you have the gloss from the Luxio line, which is the top coat. So base coat, color, top coat. Now there are some other products that you can add in and swap. So recently, well, relatively recently, Accents came out with a product called X-Bond. X-Bond is essentially a thinner version of Luxio base. So they're both base coats except X-Bond is much thinner, so it's kind of like a bonder and gel base coat in one, and it has a shorter brush as well, so I'll show you guys that in a minute um, once I get into that. So those are, are pretty much the two bottled base coats that you're gonna run into that create adhesion with the natural nail. So you can use either one of these interchangeably. You do not need to use both. You're gonna use either X-Bond as your base coat or you're gonna use the Luxio base as your base coat, okay? Then obviously we have colors. There are a ton of colors in the Luxio line. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head exactly how many there are, but I think it's up over 260 now. Um, typically, Accents releases three color collections a year. Um, they'll usually do a spring, a summer, and a fall. Um, so you can expect six new colors during each of those seasons to come out. And they've also released some other kind of accessory products that go over Luxio to kind of change, you know, as far as effects, things like that. Um, but Forever is one of the classic colors, and I really like this shade. It's very universally friendly, but there's all kinds of fun colors. There's neons, there's glitters, there's all kinds. And so I'm going to use Forever today just because I think it's such a pretty color. Um, but there's tons of colors to choose from. And then also, as far as top coats are concerned, the two main ones are Luxio Gloss, which is more or less a typical soak off top coat that you cleanse after you cure it. But there's also Accents Shine On. Shine On is probably the most popular Accents product that exists. It is a no cleanse top coat. It can be used over any product in the Accents line. Um, but a lot of people opt for Shine On instead of Gloss because they like that no cleanse finish where you don't have to wipe the nail after you cure it. But some people also prefer Gloss because it's a little bit thicker. Um, it can also be used for encapsulation, and gloss doesn't get as hot as Shine On does. Shine On's not bad, but it definitely does have a heat spike. So there's pros and cons to each, and it just depends on which one is your personal preference. So I'm going to show you guys how to do a nail with both of these and kind of the differences. Okay, so let's go through your basic Luxio application, and I'm going to show you the most basic Luxio application using the base, color, and gloss. That way you guys get a chance to see that in action, okay? So you're gonna start with a prepped nail. I have a buffed, cleaned surface. And when I say buffed, I don't mean buffed smooth. I mean, you need to see a little bit of gritty texture on here. So let me zoom in, I got a little fuzz here. And I've shown you guys before, but see how you can see scratches in the surface of this nail? 
you want to see scratches in the surface of the natural nail as well. You don't wanna see gouges in the nail, but you definitely wanna see some texture. So if you're using a buffer, make sure that the buffer is nice and gritty, about 180 grit or more, and that way you're going to be able to get a nice textured surface for the gel to be able to adhere to. The reason why we need a textured surface is because gel just does not adhere to shiny surfaces very well. And it also has a hard time adhering to surfaces that have any oils or any type of um, moisture on it. So just make sure that you've got a really nice, clean, dry, nicely prepped nail with no skin around the cuticle area and make sure you've got some texture there on the nail plate. Okay, so I am going to take the Luxio base and you'll see how this differs from the, the X-Bond. So just to show you real quick, so the base is a little bit of a thicker base coat. It's not super runny. It's got some heft to it, which I really like. I love base coats like this. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you, you probably have realized that Liz likes gel-like gels. I like gels that really feel like gel, um, and I just like things that have a little bit more of some heft to it when you put it on, because that way, you can decide whether you want to just do a thin base coat or if you want to add a little bit of smoothing or a little bit of structure to the nail, some shaping with your apex layer. So this is kind of a medium thick base coat and it self levels really, really nicely. You've probably also, if you watch any European nail techs, you've probably also seen them use Luxio Base to create apexes, to smooth, and they're able to actually get the nail perfectly smooth in one step and then go right into their color layer. All right, so with any base coat, I like to start about two thirds of the way down the nail. You can also cap the free edge first. That way you know that if you get a little hump of product here, that's gonna be gone by the time you smooth the rest of it out. And if you guys watched my first, first video in the Gel Nail Fundamentals series, you saw that I also showed this technique, which is if you have a super short nail, and obviously this nail is not super short, but if you have a super short nail and you're trying to get base coat up and over the edge of the nail, what you can do is just put a little bit of product in front of your brush, come this way backwards, and all you're gonna do is just push your bristles up and over the edge of the free edge of the nail, and that way you're gonna be able to cap the free edge of the nail without touching the skin underneath. And I showed that in one of my earliest videos on the Gel Nail Fundamentals series. I like to start about two thirds of the way away from the cuticle because that way I have room. So if I accidentally put too much product on the nail, I have room to be able to work and move and, and you know remove some of that if I need to. And then you're gonna want to really shimmy this product into the nail plate, work it in so that you get nice adhesion. You don't need extra bonders or anything. The Luxio base adheres very, very, very well. Um, if you do want to use extra bonding, just be cognizant of the fact that you're going to extend your soak off time. So anytime you add bonding agents to a manicure, it's going to take you that much longer to soak it off when the customer comes back. But I have never needed any type of bonder with the Luxio line. Um, if you do want to use a bonder, Accents makes a product called a Fix It. A Fix It is a kind of like a protein bonder product. It's really nice, it air dries. You put it on the natural nail before you put your base coat on. But like I said, this is a complete uh, optional product. You do not need to use it with the Luxio line. Okay, so I've got a nice thin coating. You know, I can go into the sidewalls a little bit more. Sometimes on plastic tips, the, uh, the gel will shrink back, but it will not do this on natural nails. Okay, nice thin layer. And then if you do want to add a little bit more of some thickness here, and you'll see that that hump that we had from capping the free edge is gone because we did it first and then we smoothed the nail. If you do want to add a little bit of an apex, base is great for that. So what you can do is just put a little bit more of a dollop here on the nail, kind of just work it onto the nail plate on that wet layer and let it self level. And you can even see that my ovally ring light here does a nice job of showing me that that has self-leveled into a perfectly smooth dollop and you can even you know extend it as far out towards the free edge as you want but base does a really nice job of self-leveling but if you just want a basic basic gel polish manicure all you're going to do is just apply one nice even coating of base and then you're just going to cure that in your lamp for 30 seconds in an led or two minutes in a cfl 
Okay, so now I've got my cured base layer here. And again, you can see that it cured nice and smooth. The, the way I can tell whether you have a ring light, like a round light, or you have a, just a slim line LED, you'll be able to see either a nice even oval on the surface or you'll be able to see a completely straight line with no squiggles in it. So that tells you that you've got a really nice, smooth base coat application. If you do have a few little lumps and bumps, please do not get concerned about that because the Luxio colors and the Luxio top coat also self-level beautifully. So you're gonna be able to perfect your nail as you move forward in the service. That's probably one of the most common mistakes that nail technicians, especially beginning nail technicians do is they get really, really focused on something early on in the appointment, and then you end up spending so much time trying to fix something that you could have just probably fixed as you went through your manicure that you end up wasting a lot of time. Okay, so I'm gonna put a nice coat of Forever on here, and you can see just in one coat, literally, this is just one coat, I'm able to like perfectly cover the nail, and you can see how thin that is. So Luxio is extremely pigmented. Even the more kind of semi-sheer nudes, like Forever, you can see on the brush. I mean, it's nicely pigmented, but it's more like a sheer nude. I mean, they cover so well, it's unbelievable. So that's one of the things I really loved about Luxio is that it just covers really nicely. It goes on really nicely. It's smooth, it's silky, it self-levels. It does not have any solvents in it, so it will not get thick on the nail as you're painting it on or polishing it on. So you can spend as much time as you want to. And I really like that it has, again, a little bit of like some texture, some silky texture to it, because when you go to paint around the cuticle area or around the sidewalls, it actually just flows. Instead of it pulling like a polish where it kind of makes jagged edges or it struggles to get into the area that you want it to go into, it's very, very silky. So even when you get some brush, stro brush strokes in it, it's gonna self-level really nicely for you, okay? And you can see even right here, I've got a teeny little squiggle in my oval. That's okay, I'm gonna wait until I go to my top coat layer to fix any of that. So I'm just gonna paint this nice even layer of the first coat of color. I'm gonna cure this for 30 seconds in an LED or two minutes in a CFL lamp, and then I'm gonna do my second coat. Okay, so that is the first layer cured. The other thing I love about Luxio is it cures really nicely. You don't get wrinkles or anything like that. You don't get pits. It doesn't shrink. You'll even notice like on the free edge of the nail, it's still perfectly applied. It does not shrink back at all. If you do get any shrinking with Luxio, I'll tell you the two most common reasons why Luxio shrinks back is because you've used an incompatible product on the nail to begin with. Luxio is very sensitive to other cleansers on the market that have perfumes or oils or colors in them. And it's also very sensitive to cuticle removers. So if you're using like a greasy cuticle remover or something beforehand, um, you're gonna have maybe some pulling with your gel polish. And that applies to more than just Luxio, that applies to a lot of gel polishes on the market. Um, but I have had a couple people say, you know, the Luxio is pulling back, why? And as soon as I ask them what they're using for their prep and what they're using for their cleanser, immediately I'm like, this is the issue. If you do get any puckering or curing issues with Luxio, it's also probably because you don't have a very high powered lamp. Because Luxio is 100% gel, it is not a solvent, it doesn't have any hybrid products in it, it's 100% gel with pigment in it, it needs a lot of power to cure completely, so make sure you're using a nice quality lamp. And the best lamp to use with Accents is the Accents Hybrid Pro lamp. So the, the, the biggest way to get successful with your gel polish manicures is to get yourself a very high quality lamp. We sell several of them on the Nail Hub. Um, but also if you like Luxio and you want that to be your number one gel polish line, then buy the lamp that matches your gel polish line. And you guys have heard me say that many times before, but for those of you that are watching this for the first time, I just wanted to make sure that you know I give you that little statement here. Now on the second coat of Luxio, I like to just use this layer because it's it's gonna add a little bit of pigment, which we already have a nice coverage on the nail, um, but it's also gonna allow us to just perfect our application. So just use this as an opportunity, just double check you know, your capping, make sure you've got it as close to the cuticle as you would like, and 
you can even, you know, I've seen some people, they like, like to do this swoop thing with their brush from the side and get really, really, really close to the cuticle. You can absolutely do that as well. You can even use the bulldoze technique, which is how I like to typically apply gel polish, where I just push the product up close to the cuticle area. I just put a little bit in front of my brush and just kind of push it up close and then pull back. Um, there's lots of ways to apply gel polish. But the cool thing about Luxio is it's very forgiving. It's very self-leveling. And you'll see I'm actually able to add a little bit more thickness, a little bit more glossy finish, and then just give it a second, let it self-level, and then we're going to finish with our top coat. So go ahead and cure this for 30 seconds in an LED or hybrid lamp or two minutes in your CFL. Okay, so we have our two coats of Luxio on our nail. You can see it's very high coverage. This is such a beautiful color. I really love Forever. It's one of my all-time favorite colors from the, the Luxio line. And then for our basic Luxio manicure, we're going to finish with gloss, which is the top coat. And again, you'll notice also that it's got brilliant on the back, or brillant for the French. I don't speak French, I speak Spanish and English and a little bit of German, so forgive me if my French is not excellent. I can understand it, but I just don't speak it very well. Um, okay, so I'm going to put a nice coating of gloss on the nail. And again, if you have maybe an, a little area where you feel like, ooh, it's a little, you know, I've got a little divot, or I want to add a little bit more of an apex, or, um, you know, whatever it is, if you've got an area that you're trying to smooth, you can absolutely use gloss for that. So gloss self-levels absolutely beautifully. You'll see from the side, it's pretty flat nail. So if I want to add a little bit of an apex, all I have to do is just when I have my wet layer of gloss, go back and add a little bit more product, swish it down the nail, let it self-level. And you can even turn the finger upside down if you need to, but watch, see that oval in the center of the nail? And see right here, this is how a lot of those artists are able to smooth out the nail without, you know, having to look at it too much. They use their reflection to be able to see, is this smooth? Okay. So let me turn this upside down just to show you guys what it looks like when you actually let the self level a little bit. I, I usually before, right before I put nails in a lamp, I usually turn them upside down just for a couple seconds because it really does help you to concentrate that gel in the center of the nail where you want the apex to be and also down the center. And look at how smooth that is. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So you're gonna go ahead and cure this now for 30 seconds in an LED or two minutes in your CFL. Okay, so I have my cured top gloss all done. I'm gonna take a wipe and my gel cleanser which if you guys haven't watched my gel cleanser video, please go back and watch that because I show you how to make the most awesome gel cleanser ever. Um, you're going to cleanse the nail. Try and get a nice squeaky sound. That lets you know that you've got all that inhibition layer off and you're going to have a nice glossy finish. And then let that dry. I'll push my tip back in there. So that is a basic Luxio manicure with base, color, and gloss. And I also wanted to show you guys what's the difference between the base and X-Bond and the gloss and Shine On. So let me just swap out my tip here real quick. This is what I love about these red iguana practice fingers. You can just slide these tips out. They actually work really well for swatching um, and so you could even put these on a board if you wanted to. Um, but I really like the fact that I'm able to just swap out these tips. Like you literally just slide them up in here. And you can practice your nail art, take pictures, whatever you want, which is pretty cool. So let me just grab one more tip in here. Also just make sure that the tip is completely clean or the nail is completely clean, whichever one you're working on. Okay, so here's my prepped tip. No shine nicely kind of etched and scratched and then it's perfectly clean and then I'm just going to put that into my practice finger like so so you just basically slide that up in there 
And I usually hold the nail up here because then it keeps the tip from sliding and moving around. So if you guys are curious how I keep them from pulling out, if you just put your thumb up here while you're working, which is typically what you end up doing with a client anyway, is you're always like pulling back and pushing down. Um, do the same thing with your practice fingers. It works great. Okay, so X-Bond. Let's do the same manicure process, but we're going to use X-Bond instead. So X-Bond... X-Bond is just a teeny bit thinner. Um, and this is what Accents came out with, you know, what the idea behind X-Bond was, was a little bit thinner of a base coat that could be used for all different kinds of things. You can literally use X-Bond under any single Accents product, including the hard gels, including options, including gel play, whatever you want, you can use X-Bond for. It's a great bonder gel for the natural nail. Um, and it works really nicely, you know, as your, your first base coat. And I also have used base for that as well. Base can be used. I mean, Accents is very cool because you can integrate whichever product is your favorite. So you can use base under the hard gels and the options and everything else. You can swap whatever you want as far as your favorite base, your favorite color gels, your favorite builder gels, whatever you want. Um, so X-Bond is just a teeny bit teeny bit thinner. You'll see it doesn't like kind of stick on my brush like the other one did. It's a little bit runnier. It'll actually drop off my brush. And the brush is a little bit shorter. It's kind of got like a little bonding brush. So you don't need to use as much X-Bond because it is a thinner product. So you want to use a little bit less on your brush so you don't get any X-Bond kind of swimming around on you. Okay, same thing. You can cap the free edge. Again, you can do it whichever way you want. You can do backwards over the free edge. You can just tap the free edge. You can bump the free edge, whatever you want. Just cap the free edge. That'll help kind of shrink wrap that gel around the free edge. I like to do the sidewalls. And then the last bit I like to do before it goes in the lamp is the cuticle. I always do that area last. And I usually will point the finger down slightly because it just gives me the ultimate control on the finger. If you do cuticle first, more likely that you're going to get things kind of running and accents products are really good about having a nice viscosity that doesn't run but i mean it's just it's a good habit to have no matter what gel line you're using that way i can swap between a really thin gel a gel like this you know or base or whatever and i'm not going to go oh my gosh you know why did i do that things are going all over the place okay so it's very similar to base except just a little bit thinner of a product and uh, a little bit thinner, uh, shorter brush, and you wanna just scrub that in, and then you're gonna cure that for 30 seconds in an LED or two minutes in a CFL. Okay, so I've got my X-Bond cured here. Now I'm gonna go in with a color, and actually I'm gonna pick something. I'll pick a different one. I'm gonna show you guys Luxio Current. This is also a really pretty color. This is kind of a classic color. And again, there are, I mean, there's every type of color in the Luxio line as far as, you know, getting wild and crazy with your colors. Um, but the nice thing about Luxio is that it also has those nice classic colors as well. Okay, so current. And the cool thing about Luxio too, I literally have not used this color in a long time. Um, and Luxio stays really nicely mixed doesn't age, it doesn't get stickier, it doesn't change in the bottle, it doesn't get clumpy. Um, so I really like how the quality of Luxio holds up over time, not only on the fingernail, but in the bottle too. So again, bulldoze up. And with darker colors, I like to stay a little bit further away from my practice finger just because it's a little bit annoying to clean off of skin. Plus I can always push, you can push the tip back as well if you want to. Okay, so there's one nice even coat of current. Really pretty kind of, well, current color. It's like a wine red. Very, very gorgeous. And you can see even with one coat, just covers really nicely and self levels on the finger. Again, 30 seconds in an LED, two minutes in a CFL style UV lamp. 
All right, so I've got the first coat of current on here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my second coat. And again, on the second coat, you're just gonna focus on perfecting the application, maybe get a little bit closer to the skin. I always find that the second coat of gel, once it kind of has that guideline of where the previous coating was, you're able to get a little bit closer to the skin without it running, um, you know, and you just wanna focus on getting, you know, nice even coverage and nice smooth application, okay? So there is two coats of current. And again, you'll see like, you'll see like kind of wavy lines where my brush strokes are, but after a second, it self levels really, really nicely. And I just love how it doesn't shrink back. I mean, even with this darker color, you know, with certain gel polishes that I've tested, immediately on the edges of a plastic tip even, the gel will start shrinking back. It'll start to get more sheer on the tip. Luxio just stays in place and it just stays nice like this the entire time you're applying it. So we're going to cure that for 30 seconds in an LED or two minutes in a CFL. All right, so there are the two cured coats of Luxio Current. And then to finish this nail, I'm going to use Accents Shine On. So this is the no cleanse or no wipe version of Top Coat in the Luxio line. And it is just... I mean, it's an amazing top coat. This is probably, if if not, I mean, it is, uh, you know, like the top selling product out of the whole entire Accents line. It's just an amazing, amazing product. It has a nice long brush, which I like, nice kind of long fat brush. It has a teeny bit, like a teeny, teeny, tiny hint of um, like, it's almost like a teeny hint of blue, but not really. Like, it just, it's so crystal clear. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's just the most crystal clear top coat. And it is a soak off top coat. Even though it is a no wipe top coat, it is soak off. So that is nice to be able to apply this on your soak off manicures. Okay, so I'm going to, again, just apply... The bottom half of the nail first. I like to do this with longer nails especially, but I just, I, I created this as a good habit for myself when working with gel products. That way, no matter what I pick up, I'm going to have some success with it because you just never know. You don't know how a gel is going to behave the first time you use it, or if you use lots of different types of gel, it's just a good habit to always start on the bottom half of the nail when you're working. Okay. And shine on also self levels very, very, very nicely. You can absolutely fix any type of divots. You can add a little bit of an apex. The only thing I will point out about Shine On is it does have a heat spike. Every gel has a heat spike. I mean, that's just part of the chemical reaction that happens when gel cures is heat is released. It's called the exothermic reaction. Um, but typically what I have noticed is that with no cleanse gels, the the exothermic reaction seems to be a little bit more intense. And obviously, depending on how much gel you put on the nail, that's also going to have an impact on how much heat is released during the process. So if you want, you can add a little dollop of gel just to perfect that nail and let it self-level. Just get that nice, glossy, glossy finish. Um, otherwise, just do a nice, thin, thin coat, and that way you won't get as much of an issue with the heat. I don't want to make it sound like this is a very hot gel. It really isn't. Um, but if you are one of those people that's freaked out by gels getting hot, just, you know, be aware of that, that Shine On does have a little bit of a heat spike to it. And again, I just like to flip things upside down just for a quick second, get that nice self-leveling, and then I'm going to cure this for 30 seconds in an LED or two minutes in a CFL. All right, so there you have it. You have your finished Luxio manicure with X-Bond as the base coat, two coats of Luxio Current, and Shine On as your top coat. I do have lotion on my hands, so I don't want to add any streak to this, but I'll just quickly show you with like a brush. If I brush on here, see how it's perfectly clean and dry? And Shine On is just a very, very glossy top coat, very beautiful, creates a nice smooth finish on the nail. And like I said, this is 
one of our top sellers on the Nail Hub. It is just an awesome, awesome product. But that's exactly how you can do a Luxio manicure um, with either uh, X-Bond. So you can do either X-Bond or Luxio base as your base coat. So either one of these products is your base coat. You can use any Luxio color in the line and then you can use either Shine On as your top coat or you can use Luxio Gloss. So I hope that helps you guys understand a little bit more about these products. And just to recap some of the benefits of the Luxio line, one is that it's very highly pigmented. Um, you guys saw that in two thin coats, I was able to completely cover the nail even with darker colors. It is solvent free, which means it has no air drying chemicals in it. It needs a lamp to fully cure. Um, so it will not get thicker, it will not dry out, it will not get sticky, it won't, you know, the brush doesn't change, the pigment doesn't change. It's just a very, very awesome high quality gel line. It's also easy to control in my opinion, much easier to control than thin gel polishes or hybrids that do get a little sticky as you're applying them. Um, I just find that Luxio is, it's just so forgiving because it does self-level, it goes on so silky smooth. So in my mind, it's extremely easy to control and it's very rare that Luxio will flood into the cuticle unless you're applying a ton of it on the nail at one time. It self levels so you get nice smooth application. It doesn't have any chemical smell because it doesn't have any solvents in it. It just, it kind of almost has an earthy smell to it. Most gels when they're true gels have more of like an earthy smell, um, but it does not smell like nail polish. It doesn't have any hefty chemical smell to it, which I also really like. And my clients have also appreciated that as well over the years. Um, it adds a nice protective coating. So since this is not a typical nail polish style hybrid gel, um, it's an actual true gel product. It does add a nice coating to natural nails. It gives them just a little bit more strength. And, uh, and I find that it's just a nice addition to any natural nail manicure. On the consideration side, one thing to consider with Luxio is it does take longer to soak off than typical hybrid gel polishes. So if you're used to using a CND shellac or a gelish type product um, that soaks off with just a scratch of a nail file and five minutes in wraps, Luxio is gonna take closer to 10 minutes to soak off completely. Um, and that's also why I don't recommend adding any type of bonder with Luxio because it just makes the soak off time even longer. But the cool thing about that the positive side about that is that the gel polish manicure lasts much longer. So rather than having chipping, you know, and, and cracking and stuff like that, like you can sometimes get with, um, with hybrid gels after, you know, the 10 to 14 day period, Luxio is going to stay nice and glossy and strong for, you know, four to five weeks if you want it to stay on. Um, but yeah, the soak off time, because it is a true gel, it's going to take a little bit longer to soak off than typical ones. So just keep that in mind. That's probably the only, the, if I were to, Summarize the number one questions or troubleshooting things that I have to do with Luxio. One is the soak off time. And then the other one is it needs a high powered lamp to cure. So um, this is not a gel that you can use any type of teeny little lamp or some, you know, like nine watt gel polish lamp. You need something hefty. Any of the lamps that we sell in the Nail Hub will cure Luxio. I have tested them myself. Um, you know, and, and again, if you're going to use Luxio as your main line for gel polish, just buy the lamp that goes with Luxio. It's just the easiest way to go about your life. But if you want a lamp that's going to cure all of your true gels, we have tested our lamps that we distribute with all of the gels that we sell. So any of those lamps are going to cure Luxio. They're going to cure anything on our website. So if you want one lamp to rule them all, the lamps that we list on our website will cure any of the gels that we sell. Um, also on that, um, on that same subject, like I mentioned before, the only other thing that people often have as a troubleshooting thing with Luxio is when they're using some type of prep agent or um, cuticle remover or oil or something is on the nail. Luxio, the only time I've ever seen it shrink back from the free edge is when you have used a cleanser that does not go with Luxio. So some of the ones that are not compatible with Luxio's line are the CND Scrub Fresh, YN Swipe, Young Nail Swipe. Um, typically any of the cleansers that have a color or a scent or both to them, you're gonna get shrinking with your gels because 
um, you know, with Luxios, for example, uh, because they do have some ingredients in them that are not compatible. So that's why I like to make my own gel cleanser that is just made of alcohol and acetone. That way I'm not going to have any type of extra ingredients that are going to create a residue on the nail that's going to impact my gel polish application. Um, and the other thing to consider with Luxio, some people don't like this, is it does have more of a jelly-like appearance to it. So like with a thinner gel polish, um, with a thinner gel polish, you know, you're going to have like more of like a nail polish type feel. You're not going to have this kind of like glossy jelly like look to it. Um, I actually personally love that, but some people, they want it to look more like nail polish where it's super, super, super thin. So Luxio, you can apply it like that, but because it has a nice viscosity and it self levels, um, it's going to have a little bit more heft and it's going to look a little bit more like a gel. It's not thick. I mean, you guys can see like even at the cuticle area and the free edge, it doesn't add any extra thickness, you know, that's kind of unacceptable, um, but it does have more of that gel-like look to it. So just keep that in mind if you're looking for something and you want it to be more like a nail polish type product, then Luxio might not be the gel for you. But I think all of these things are actually benefits in a weird way because, um, you know, the gels I like to work with all have these types of traits. So just for those of you that are, are doing this for the first time. Okay. Um, so I hope this has helped you learn a little bit more about Luxio as far as a product. I really like working with it. I just think it's a wonderful, wonderful gel. Um, and I've used it for years. Like I said, this is something that I've kept in my arsenal for a really long time. Now, a, a cool thing that I've got for you guys. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this year, if you guys didn't see my, um, my Q and A video that I did at the end of the year, I was talking about how I'm going to be giving away a bunch of my stash. I have so much gel guys. It's unbelievable. And Luxio is no exception. So I have three sets of Luxio. I'm going to be giving away six colors. I've got six different colors in each set. Okay. So these are six colors and I'm going to give you guys also a base and a top coat. I've got three of these sets. So three of you guys are going to have the chance to win six Luxio colors plus either base and gloss or X bond and shine on. I'm going to make sure that you guys have one of those bases and one of those top coats to go with your six gels. These gels that I own are all pretty much 99% full. I've only used them for swatching in my studio. I have never used these on clients. These are just gels that I have in my personal stash and they're just sitting around. And why am I going to let them collect dust? I'm not. There's lots of you out there that want to try these products and I want to give them away to you guys so that you can be able to do that. So what I would like you guys to do is head on over to the community section on my channel. I will post the rules for the giveaway on the community section of my channel. And like I said, I have three of these kinds of sets. So three of you are going to get eight bottles of product. It's open to anyone in the world. This giveaway is not associated with Accents. It's not associated with YouTube. It's just me giving away my private stash. So please don't go bother Accents asking why they aren't giving away product. It's because this is Liz just doing it on her own out of my private, private product collection. Um, but I wanted to give away three sets so that you guys get three opportunities for three different people to win. And I'm also making sure that um, the same people don't win twice. So if you've won a product, um, you know, congrats, but I also want to make sure that everyone else gets an opportunity to win something. So I'm going to make sure that everybody wins something, um, you know, at least once and there's tons of you out there. So I don't think we're going to have repeats, um, but I'm going to make sure that people don't get repeated as well. Okay. So I've got each set has different colors in it. Nobody's going to get the same colors. I've got six different colors and each of those colors is different in each set, but there's three of these sets. I hope that makes sense. I'm trying to explain it as clearly as possible. Head on over to the community section of my channel. I will post all of those details there about the giveaway and uh, how to enter. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. I will see you next time in another awesome tutorial. Bye.